love you, pup. Hey, <laughs> what is that? Five-ish in the morning, 5.30. Usually don't get up this early, but we have puppies and they got up, so we're up. Oh man, it's gorgeous out. Ah, boy, it's beautiful, beautiful morning. After uh, we got up at five, we went back to sleep for a little while and uh, Anyways, the puppies are asleep in there. The kids and Danielle, my wife, are out uh, with some friends doing a, a hike. And I'm here alone. I was trying to get some vlog stuff done, but I still have like two videos I have to edit. I'm trying to get those done so that I can get to vlog stuff. So it's just me and Jingles right now. Who has a treat. And then I am uh, trying to keep the noise loudish, uh, so we're playing. I'm playing Disneyland walkthrough. Because that is where I want to be more than anywhere else in the world. It's right there. <laughs> so sad. I don't know what to do. Anyway, so I'm working, trying to get things done, and uh, but I really want to get to, I have all these cigars. All these fantastic cigars I want to get to. And, uh, and my new lighters and cutter. And, uh, and it's gorgeous out. As you can see, it's a gorgeous day. If, uh, you know, it's been a lot, of, a lot of rain and gloom, which I actually love. That's one of my favorite. I, I could handle that all the time. But it is nice to have a warm shorts kind of day. So I'm just rendering off this first video right here. And, uh, focus and then I'll be off to another video and then actually I have three videos I have three more videos after this but I want to work on my own videos I want to work on this video so like I said earlier this is gonna be I think something I'm gonna try for a while is this style video where it's just like long clips no edits no music nothing fancy and see how those goes I'll see how those goes and those will go in between like the edited, nice, fancier videos that I can't put out as often, but at least I'll get other content out and see if anybody even cares. Oh gosh. What's that? <sighs> what? Oh, okay, nothing. More work stuff. Jeez Louise. Okay, this video is done, so I gotta keep working. Leave me alone, gosh darn it. All right, goodbye for now. It's like as soon as I get working, <clears throat> something happens. Like Jingles is just being annoying, constantly needs something. And now it sounds like the puppies are up. It's been 20 minutes since my wife left and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get so much done while they're gone. And now I hear the puppies up, which require at least 40 minutes of attention because you have to, ugh. Oh. It's just really difficult to get any work done right now at this moment. This is so hard. Well, so much for getting work done. The puppies are already up and peeing and pooping everywhere. So that's pretty much your job when the pups are up, is cleaning up after them. There's one, there's eight of them. And they're getting to be terrors. And chewing on everything. Holy cow, let's see if they can get a good shot of it. They do have pretty adorable little faces. What's the matter? What? Hi! What are you doing? Hey, little pup! Oh, it's, it's chewing on the tripod. What are you doing? Why are you getting the tripod, huh? Well, uh, my camera right here uh, the battery died, 
I have 6,000 batteries, but they're all in my camera bag, which is in the car that my wife took. And I was just too lazy to get my bag out. So it's my fault. So I'm charging the battery now. In the meantime, I'm on my phone. But I thought I would do, I turned this video into kind of a uh, what to expect when you're expecting puppies kind of video. Because I'm like, I think all these little vlog daily videos, they have to have a, a hook. They have to have a reason for people to to watch, so you have to have a decent title and thumbnail. So this one will be about puppies. Puppies. All right, so I'll just tell you everything we've learned about puppies because we didn't know what to expect at all. We've never had puppies in our house before. And so we did a ton of research. We were just looking at blog articles and videos from other people, like what do you do from the moment your dog is, you find out they're pregnant to the time you like get rid of the puppies or sell them or whatever you're gonna do with them. Oh man, they are everywhere. Jingles has started playing with them, which is kind of fun. Huh. When you, when the dog is actually in birth and giving birth, they do this thing called nesting, like a couple hours before they actually have the babies. And our dog was trying to go under our deck constantly, like obsessed with going under the deck like a few hours before she actually gave birth. We didn't know why, we kept calling her back. Well, she was trying to like create a nest because they want to be covered and like in a small space. They want to be like protected. So you can create something like that for your dog. Like we put a sheet up over in this corner of a house and we put a comfortable dog bed. And like this was after she started having the puppies. We're like, oh my gosh, make a nest. So um, yeah, make some kind of covering where they feel comforted and away from you kind of thing. What are you guys doing? So uh, all of them are black with spots of white, except for one of them, which is this one. Who's, uh, who's that? That's brown, in case you were like, what color is that? It's brown. I didn't think I had to tell you, but I suppose maybe I do. Oh, Disneyland walkthrough is still going on. Anyway, so now I've got to go and find the drops of liquid and solids that they leave behind like this Ugh. we were looking up articles on what to do when your dog has puppies while she was having the puppies she ended up having eight which i guess is somewhat normal she'd get she'd kind of do it in bursts she'd have one or two puppies at a time and then take a little break up to like 20 minutes and then have like two or three more and then another long break and so it came out they came out like that the only thing that we read that you really need to watch out for is like um, some dogs don't really, t hold on, I have to make, I have to do something. And there. I am here. Okay, and I have to let somebody know that I just did that. We're just like constantly spraying down our carpets. In fact, that carpet right there, that one we pretty much decided we're just getting rid of after the puppies are gone because it's been, pooped and peed on so much. We're like, it's just disgusting, forget it. Just get rid of it. So I'm back, I had to do something. Okay, so what was I talking about? You need your dog, you gotta get your dog. Oh, dogs in general, like our dog took care of all of the details. Like she birthed the dog completely. The puppy came out completely. She chewed off the umbilical gourd in a very comfortable, a very clean way and she cleaned them up really well so there was nothing blocking their airway. Those are kind of the only things you have to watch out for. They said some dogs won't remove the umbilical cord on their own. So you have to go in and do that and you either wrap a string around it to tie it and then cut it. You just, you tie the string around to keep, to stop the blood flow. And then, so you tie it like if this is the umbilical cord, you tie a string here to cut off the blood supply and then you cut it off here so that the blood, so they don't like bleed, you know, that kind of thing. Um, or something like that. Uh, but she did it all. She just bit the umbilical cord off, which just says totally natural. If the dog's going to do it, great. But um, some dogs don't. So you just kind of watch for that. You don't have to do it like immediately. Like as soon as the dog's out, like, oh my gosh, cut it. But <laughs> she she will possibly like drag the dog around because the umbilical cord is still attached. And she will move around to get into another comfortable position before the next pup. But we, we just kind of watched and she did it all fine. It was pretty, it was like at the time it's all stressful. And you're like, what do we need to do? But you don't really have to do much if your dog, if you have a good dog, if you have a, a motherly natured dog, she'll do it all. And the other thing is sometimes they can get like stuff over their face. So you just kind of watch, make sure they're like breathing, barking. We just go, we'd wait for them to bark and make so sounds, which sometimes would take, you know, 30 seconds or so, but they would all do it. So everything was good. 
the mom kind of does it all. The mom dog, you just kind of monitor, make sure they're breathing, make sure the umbilical cord gets off, um, you know, at some point. And, and that's about it. Make sure they're warm. Ah, another spot. Gosh, darn. Ugh, it's so gross. That's life. That's what all the people say. Jingles is pretty much done nursing them. So she likes to go outside because they drive her crazy when they're out. So they're basically, and they hate it. They want to go out too. That was about it. After that, the first week or so after that, she was obsessed with just nursing them, being with them the whole time. So we didn't really have to do anything. She took care of them totally. We'd, you know, watch them, make sure everything was okay. But she took care of them completely. It wasn't until like the second or third week when they started to be a little bit more mobile and could move and she nursed a little bit less. I think it was at like the three or four week mark where we started like giving them really soft um, dog food. We would just like put it in hot water to our mush together and then we put it in a blender thing to make it all like baby food, basically watery baby food. And they started to eat that way. So we supplemented her nursing as she slowly pulled away nursing wise and that became messy and it's a headache and it's terrible. And the older they get, the worse it is. Oh, they're adorable, but man, they're a lot of work. Puppies. Hey, I know you want out too. Is it so sad? Hey, you can look here. Hi. They become less reliant on their mom and more reliant, not reliant on you, but then they're just pooping and peeing everywhere and you have to feed them. And the soft food is disgusting and it smells terrible. And they wake up throughout the night, like two or three times a night. Last night was the first night they only woke up, I think once but we have to get them up because they just are active too. They want to get up and roam around and move around the house. So we have a pin for them outside that we made just for them. And we have an inside area pinned off where we keep them most of the time. We just bought like those, um, it's just a wall. It's like a pin for dogs. So we bought two of those and we have mats down, like, you know, baby pads, baby puppy pads everywhere and a tarp down. And that's like where they sleep and spend most of the time, but they want out of that throughout the day. They just want to get out and roam around, which we let them do. I know, what are you doing? You're just hanging out, huh? Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Arr, arr. But we wanted, we're like with them the whole time, all of us, all five of us to watch them, make sure they're not getting into trouble. But they're pooping and peeing everywhere, so it's a mess, and we usually feed them at that time. Oh, they're a heck of a lot of work. Oh, are you sad? They're adorable and cute, but man, they're a lot of work. The older they get, the more work they are. So, that's it. Hopefully that's helpful. Dear Lord, we're excited to get rid of them. As terrible as it sounds. They're so cute and we want to keep them all in a way, but at the same time, it's like, holy cow. It's a lot of work. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I think the last few days I haven't slept much because of those dang puppies. Even though my wife's been doing 90... All, well, what all of it. She's been doing all the work. She's amazing. And she gets up every night and like feeds them and does the, the stuff. But I've been working at night a little bit and still her work with the puppies wakes me up. So, so annoying. So I'm, I'm pretty sleepy. I just want to sleep. But I have a phone call with the guy whose name is Alex something who started founded did something with this my cigar you can't tell what that is because i'm using my iphone but it says my cigar pack so i don't even know what we're talking about he sent me these cigars was like hey you want to do some video stuff i was like heck yeah i want cigars so i have a bunch of cigar videos i wanted to do anyways and he's providing the cigars which is amazing and uh so i don't know we'll see what we're gonna chat about i wish i could film me chatting about whatever we're chatting about but i can't because my battery <gasps> it's charged. Let's switch cameras. Ooh. Okay. Let's see the quality difference. I'm going to try to frame the shots the same with my iPhone. And okay. So I'm going to set the iPhone here and then I'm going to put, Oh, finally, I'm going to put this freshly charged battery in the camera. I'm going to set it up kind of close to a similar shot as to what the, what work. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, we'll go one, one, two, three. Whoa. There's the other camera. Does it look better? I don't know. 
doesn't matter. But uh, so now I can film the phone call, so that'll be cool. I first I've got to get my uh, I got to get my I don't know why I didn't button my shirt today. <laughs> it's just too much work. Still have uh, Disneyland tours going on. I gotta be quiet for the pups. Ah, shoot, see, I wanna go in there. This is where the puppies are in our room. But I want my earphones. Well, I guess I'm gonna put it on speaker anyway so you can listen to the phone call, so it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I'm gonna go talk to him real quick. Okay, so um, you will hear my voice change dramatically when I get on the call with him. It'll be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, excited. Great, but really this is how I talk most of the time. It's just like hey, whatever This is not that exciting But I feel like if you talk to somebody like that like hey, hey, how is it? How's it going? You know like who's excited by that? It's going what? what? Hi, oh my gosh. I can't believe we're talking now. That's That'll be my talking voice. So <sighs> Just get ready for that. In the meantime, I got to finish up this video should close the door I also, um, I also yesterday, we went to Target. I don't know why I said it like that. Target, and they had these. So I, I got a few. How cool are those? Heck yeah. I love tropical, I love like 1920s, um, in Disneyland, Adventureland, uh, Jungle Cruise kind of aesthetic, tiki roomish, that kind of thing, so. I gotta find a place to put them, but I, I don't know where yet. Hey, Jason. Alexander, how's it going? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm great. Sorry, I missed your call there. I was thinking it was, uh, it was uh, some hacker from Latin America calling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> exactly. I have all those blocks. So. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's I funny. I get that all the time. So. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, so listen, um, following up to our uh, last couple of conversations and, and obviously how, how we got connected. Well, hooray, that went pretty dang well. It was, it was good to chat with the fellow. Uh, that's the end of that. I think it's the end of this vlog. I don't know, I, I'm gonna go out now and shoot some actual real cigar content because that's what I have. I wanna go in the bedroom and like change, but I don't think I can't because I don't wanna wake the puppy. So I'm just gonna go like this and shoot and shoot cigar content. So that was the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of this kind of content. I don't think anyone's gonna watch it is what I think. I think maybe a couple people will watch it and they'll be like, yeah, whatever. If you are one of the few people who actually watched this video, let me know if it was, if you think this is kind of cool to interlace the channel with this type of video, just vloggy, vloggy kind of content in between the regular videos, let me know. Cause I, I'll keep doing them. I think it's kind of fun and it'll keep the channel maybe more active, I don't know. Especially during the whole quarantine thing that we're all in right now. Uh, nothing else to do, I mean, edit. But I'll just like film myself editing, so. Yeah, that's it, let me know. I think this will be longer videos too, because I keep talking. Just keep talking and talking, but um, <sighs> that'll be it. I think it'll be fun. I'm gonna do them for like a week, and then if people seem to like them, then I'll keep doing them, and if not, then I'll just not, but. All right, I gotta go film real content now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.